open welcome back to online learning so this is the uh, video for continuation of our TCS NQT exam preparation for advanced section that is the coding as you know that the TCS uh, examination is on 26 and from today we will be posting daily videos related to TCS coding exam so as you know that in this year they have all, all also introduced a new profile called prime profile that is 9 LPA previously we have only two profile that is ninja and digital ninja is for 3.3 LPA and digital is for 7 LPA but in this particular year they have introduced a profile called prime which is having CTC 9 LPA so definitely uh, for the digital and the prime profile one question will be definitely based upon the DSA so in this video we will be going to discuss a sample coding question related to TCS okay so first we will read out the given question so given an array consists of n elements you have to print the element which have appeared even number of times in the array okay so let me explain you the question with the help of a whiteboard okay okay so in the question what we are given is we are given an array of integer let's say 1 2 3 1 2 3 okay so we are given an array and in this array we have to print the element which have appeared even number of times okay even number of times okay so in this example one is appeared two times that is here and here two is appeared two times that is here and here three is also appeared two times that is here and here and 2 is even, 2 is also even, 2 is also even. So these three elements is occurring even number of times. So we have to print 1, 2 and 3. Okay, because 1 is occurring 2 times which is even, 2 is occurring 2 times which is also even, 3 is occurring 2 times which is also even. Let's take another example. So our example will be 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4. So here 1 is occurring 2 times here and here 2 is occurring 2 times here and here 3 is occurring 1 time only and 4 is occurring 1 time ok so you can say that here uh, 2 is even this 2 is also even uh, 1 is odd and 1 is odd so you have to print the element which have even frequency so 1 is having even frequency 2 is having even frequency so we have to print 1 comma 2 ok let's take another example so you can understand very clearly 1 2 3 4 4 5 6 ok so here the frequency of 1 is 1 2 is occurring one time, three is occurring one time, four is occurring two time, five is occurring one time, six is occurring one time. One is odd. This one one is also odd. This is also odd. This is also odd. Uh, sorry, six is appearing two times. Four is also uh, two is even here, and these frequencies also even. So you can say. Uh, we have to print 4 comma 6 because uh, 4 is appearing even number of time that is 2 and 6 is also appearing in even number of time that is 2 okay so this is the question so what we can do is we will use a data structure called map in C++ we have map in Java we have hash map and in Python we have dictionary in CPP we have map in Python we have dictionary okay and in java we have hash map okay this all the this all the things things are same this store uh, this store the value in key and value format key comma value okay 
so what we can do is let's say our example is 1 2 1 2 3 4 5 okay so we will take a map or hash map or dictionary of type integer comma integer which is having this is key and this is value okay then we will traverse from the first position of the array that is one we will check if one is there in the hash map no so one is not there in the hash map so we'll, we will be marking one as one two is there in the hash map no two is not there so we will be marking two as one one is there in the hash map yes we will increase the frequency by one that is one becomes two two is there in the hash map we will increase the frequency by one that becomes two three is not there so we will in three we will initialize three with one four is there in the hash map so four is not there sorry so we will initialize with one five is not there so we will initialize it with one okay so this is the hash map after traversing the uh, array i will write it again one two two is having value two three is having value one four is having value one and 5 is having value 1 and then we will traverse in the hash map this is the hash map after uh, after traversing the array then we will traverse in the hash map if and then we will check if the value at the key is even that is 2 this is even so we will print the key associated with it so we will print 1 this 2 is also even so we will print the element that is 2 3 that is what we will skip it 1 again or we will skip it one again or we will skip it so at the last we will print one comma two okay uh, let's take another example one one two four five okay so uh, we will initialize a map of integer comma integer uh, one initially one is not there so we will initialize one with one again then we will check one is there in the hash map yes one is there we will increase the frequency by one that is one becomes two next two is not there we will initialize with one four is not there we will initialize it with one five is not there which is initialized with one then we will check in the hash map if the uh, if the value is even that is the frequency of the element is even or not two is even so we will take out one one or we, we can skip it one again or we can skip it one again or we can skip it so at the last we will be printing one so this is the question so let's jump out the solution of this question in cpp okay okay so first we will take out the n that denotes the number of elements in array then i will declare an array or vector similarly in c++ sql we have vector that is dynamic array you can read more about it so a arr that is array then i will take the for loop to take the input elements of the array okay uh, c in k and then we will push this element in the vector okay so this is taking input of array got it next we will declare a hash map or map or dictionary you can say in python in uh, cpp we have map uh, that is present in the c++ stl of type integer comma integer i will name it as mp this is map to store key and value okay then i will traverse in the array i less than size i plus plus then i will check if my current element if my current element is there in the hash map or not so this statement check whether the element is previously previously there or not okay it, this is the sample you this is the find function i'm using if this will ch uh, we have to find the uh, this is the name of the we have to write uh, write uh, name of the map then the find function and we have to pass the element if this returns mp dot n then uh, then it says that the element is not there in the hash map 
if the element is not there in the hash map I uh, we have discussed like we will initialize it with one okay else that is the element is already sorry all are in ady already they are in map so what we can do is we have to simply increase the frequency arr of i plus plus okay so let me explain you this uh, condition once again so uh, uh, find function is used to check whether an element is there in the hash map or not so we will be writing uh, map name dot find and the we have to pass the element if this returns mp dot n then the element is not there in the hash map not there in hash map okay if element is not there we will initialize with one as we have discussed in the whiteboard if it is already there then we have to simply increase the frequency okay so at the last I will traverse the maps for auto i colon map name that is mp I will check if i dot second means the frequency is even that is uh, the frequency modulus 2 equal to equal to 0 that's mean the element frequency is even so we have to print the element that is i dot second okay so let me explain you once again this condition okay so till here we uh, we uh, we have created a map like key value pair okay then we will check uh, we will check in the map if the uh, like in the map we have like uh, something like one is occurring two times two is occurring one times three is occurring one times okay then we will traversing from the map okay and then we will check if the frequency is e even that is frequency modulus 2 equal to equal to 0 that is these uh, two modulus 2 is 0 so this is even so we will print out the first time that is we will print the first sorry this will be first will uh, uh, i dot second will give the frequency and i dot first will give the element so if the i dot second mean the frequency is even then we have to print the element so we will print out i dot first else we can escape it okay so this is the condition so let me rub out the things so that it will be clear okay let me clean out the board yeah okay so here we have to print i dot first sorry guys yeah and yeah that's it so let's test the code uh, sorry what's happened oh we sorry I haven't taken the value of n as an input sorry guys yeah so let's say 5 is the number of elements 1 1 2 3 3 and 4 sorry 1 1 2 3 3 uh, you can see like one is occurring two times uh, that is even so we will be printing one we will be getting one and three is occurring two times this is also even so we will be getting three so let's test out for the sample test case that we have uh, that I have included in the slide that is mm, one one two three two five is the number of elements one one two three two so the expected out output is 1 comma 2 here also the output is 1 comma 2 because 1 is occurring 2 times that is even and 2 is also occurring 2 times which is also even so yeah that's it about this question so I will be providing the code of C++ Java and Python as well in the description and yeah stay tuned for more such updates and please like share and subscribe to the channel and we will meet you in the next section bye bye